these are peeking like crazy. Let just stop us. Okay, where? Check See those do bars. A, do a sound bite. Check, check. Oh, check, 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 check. That's good. Check. All right, ready? Rolling and clap. First person to ever introduce me to a, to motorcycles uh, was this dude named Tune. He would blow these little spit bubbles out of his mouth. So I'd be like, yo, show me how to do that. So he'd sit in the back of the class and blow spit bubbles. He had a YZ80 and we would all take turns riding his bike. Um, and then the cops would chase us and you know, we'd cut it off between a house and we'd like wait there and then they go that way and we go that way and just basically just got stitches and just ran around like jerks. Well, the, the, the ride from Georgia to uh, Nashville was really cool. I had to go uh, give an award at the Country Music Awards. That one was sort of an impromptu thing because I was watering my plants and, and my bike was right there and I had an airline ticket and I had a bag packed and I was about to go to the airport and I was like, fuck it. I shoved a suit in a backpack. As I, as I took off, um, I stopped to get gas at the first place and someone asked for a selfie. And then I, the second gas station, there was like five people. And the third gas station, there was like 10 people. You know, people knew I was supposed to be there. So I kept meeting people on the way and doing all this stuff. And then on the way back, I drove by a McDonald's and up on the marquee, it said, we love you, Norman. So it was, it was kind of like, you know, like Forrest Gump, I guess. I've done a lot of those where I'm, I'm just like, let's get out of here. And, you know, like if I have like three days or something, I'll just, I'll just head in a direction and turn my phone off and, uh, you know, like stop and ask people like, which way should I go? You know, those are my favorites. And I have a lot of friends that do that. They just like, let's go west and they just head west. I think, I mean, my life is so busy and everyone's checking in on, on me all the time and I always have places to be and, you know, when I put the helmet on, it just kind of closes me out from the world. I don't like, uh, you know, being on a time time thing, you know, it's, it's nice to just have, no, have your own time, your free time, you know, and just click off and go. My dad died when I was young and when I, when I meet a guy that's my dad's age and he kind of has the cool thing and kind of glows in the dark, um, I sort of gravitate towards, like Chris Christopherson was like that. Um, the president of the Oakland chapter of the East Bay Dragons was like that. Um, Peter Fonda was like that. And so Scott Wilson was like that. You know, like Peter Fonda, you know, he, you ride with him and he's like, look at all these people in their cages. You know, like, I think that, that, that phrase, ride hard or stay at home, was pretty much made for Peter Fonda. I think that, you know, he, he sort of embodies that, that freedom. So, I, you know, I keep meeting older guys that are, I got a thing for the older guys, I guess, I don't know. But, you know, those, those types of guys that just, you know, don't give a fuck. Like, I like those guys. You know? This is my favorite bike. I have a couple of bikes that I really like, but, this one, uh, Yaniva Power Plant built, we, we named it Root Beer, because this was the first time he used this color paint. And he was trying to, to explain the color to me. And he's like, what colors do you want? I'm like, just do your thing. Like, you're the artist, make the bike. He was like, you know what, I got this paint. I haven't tried it before. It's kind of Root Beer colored. I just, it's my favorite. It's, it fits my butt the best. How do you define freedom? I think it's, it's, I think freedom is one of the things you feel. You can't really put a, a thing on it. It's like, it's, it's more of a, it's more of a verb. I mean, you can be free and, and not be a lunatic, you know, but you could, I think there's a little switch that flips and, you know, I think like-minded people sort of can tell. Who's your favorite mic holder? Uh, I, who said that? I don't know who said that. Did you hear that? I don't know who said that. Somewhere down here. Just... 